causes of increased blood consumption or excessive uh, destruction. You remember that this is the, the second group. The first group would, would decrease in the platelet production. Now we will discuss uh, platelet, increased platelet consumption or excessive destruction. Excessive destruction. Excessive destruction may be immune like ITB, idiopathic or immune thrombocytopenic purpura. Uh, sometimes uh, the purpura due to thrombocytopenia will, with anemia, so the condition will be Evans syndrome. So Evans syndrome is thrombocytopenia, thrombocytopenia plus anemia. The anemia will be autoimmune hemolytic anemia. So ITP plus autoimmune hemolytic anemia, autoimmune, autoimmune means autoantibodies against the RBCs leading to destruction of the red blood cells or what's called the hemolytic anemia. It may be due to uh, other causes, other immune disorder like systemic lupus erythematosus, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia with excessive production of the abnormal immunoglobulins, lymphoma also, abnormal uh, immunoglobulin production. It may be due to drug or treatment therapy like uh, heparin induced thrombocytopenia or what's called the HIT. Hit uh, post transfusion, post transfusion uh, purpura, also uh, in uh, post transfusion, following the transfusion, blood transfusion, leading to the formation of the antibodies, uh, allo antibodies against the foreign platelets. So, destruction of the platelets was purpura. Infection like HIV and the other viruses uh, or malaria, other bacteria, leading to. Uh, thrombocytopenia, neonatal, uh, neonatal allo immune thrombocytopenia, neonatal allo immune thrombocytopenia. Also during pregnancy, uh, the mother may form uh, allo antibodies against the platelets of the newborn, leading to destruction of platelet and the thrombocytopenia in the uh, neonate or the newborn. Uh, pathogenesis of the idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or immune thrombocytopenic purpura it is due to uh, antibodies uh, antibodies as we antiplatelet autoantibodies leading to coating of the platelet what's called sensitized platelet and this sensitized platelet will go to the uh, macrophage in the macrophage there will be a receptor for fc portion of the antibody on the macrophage called FC receptor. So, uh, the, uh, the binding of the uh, sensitized platelet to the macrophage leading to destruction of the sensitized platelet by the macrophage in the spleen or in the liver, what's called extravascular destruction or extravascular uh, consumption of the platelets. Lifespan of platelet in the ITB will be decreased to few hours instead of the days uh, due to the O2 antibodies. We have two types of the uh, ITP. We have uh, acute ITP and the chronic ITP. The most prominent features of acute ITP is that it occurs most commonly in children and preceded by infection, uh, vaccination, uh, and the uh, condition uh, will be in the more than 80% of the uh, patient uh, sp uh, spontaneous remission or resolving or uh, healing without uh, even uh, treatment. Uh, the antibodies against the platelet uh, are non-specific. Uh, this is uh, the very important uh, features or criteria of the acute ITP. But in chronic ITP, uh, the prominent feature that it appears most commonly in the female uh, most commonly it is idiopathic without causes or maybe associated with other immunological conditions like systemic lupus or malignancy like CLL or infection like HIV or other uh, malignancy like Hodgkin disease or uh, in association with autoimmune hemolytic anemia as we mentioned in Evans syndrome. 
the condition uh, spontaneous emission is uncommon so the condition means it persists for months or years in reverse to the acute which will be for weeks and spontaneous emission in more than 80 percent antibodies in the chronic uh, itp are igg and specific against the specific receptors called uh, 2p3a receptor or 1p receptor this is the most prominent uh, features for differentiation between the acute itp and the chronic itp uh, both of them uh, no splenomegaly no splenomegaly no splenomegaly splenomegaly support another cause not itp suggesting it is a secondary thrombocytopenia due to other causes like uh, malignancy like malaria like uh, hemolysis or other causes uh, in both of them there will be a giant platelet because of the uh, the 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 production of the platelet is abnormal from the bone marrow so the bone marrow try to compensate by production of the, a lot of platelets and a giant platelets